Hey everyone, it's Game Pack Preacher, and honestly, I'm doing something a little different this time around, so, uh, I don't have a script for this one. Yeah, I figured I'd just kind of do something unscripted just, well, for a couple reasons, really. One, to remind the algorithm that I'm still alive, and two, really, I couldn't honestly put any thoughts down on a piece of paper for this one. I mean, depending on how this goes, I might end up doing more unscripted stuff in the future, just, like, basically ramblings, I guess, but, uh, anyway, if you want to see more of that, uh, insert standard YouTube jargon here, I guess. So with that out of the way, today's topic, Astrobot. Oh boy, Astrobot is just, I am so very happy this game has come out, and I'm even happier that this game has been performing both critically and hopefully commercially well. Like, if y'all don't know me at all, it's like, platformers are my favorite genre, it's just, seeing a triple a platformer in this space just fills me with well childlike wonder and joy i guess because really you only expect that sort of stuff from nintendo these days it's like having that kind of stuff from sony is just uh it's just i don't really know how to put it into words which i guess is why i'm right here now but as happy as the little guy makes me it also kind of puts a little bit of fear into perspective because it's like well i mean y'all saw the thumbnail it's like i mean that is no exaggeration i just I truly believe that Astrobot is the hero that we kind of need right now in this space. Like it's no secret that this industry is kind of falling apart and it's just between all the games that are essentially dying and the baffling business decisions on both Sony's and Microsoft's and not including Nintendo because well they're always doing their own thing it's just like I don't know it's just having a game that comes out it's like it's not trying to charge you anything else it's not trying to like push graphics or anything like that it's just pure unadulterated fun and on top of that is just a it's just an overall celebration of sony's legacy it's like it's their 30th anniversary this year that's that's a long time and just seeing all these ips that sony apparently doesn't own somehow it just really puts into perspective it's like games just used to be about fun like you could make a game about catching monkeys or a puzzle game about dice or all these RPGs with these crazy amounts of plots, just like anything. It's like we used to just have that sort of variety, you know? But then budgets got bigger, games had to have higher cutting edge graphics, and for some reason everyone, and I mean everyone, had to be a freaking live service game. Like even Sony, Sony has a freaking initiative that wanted to go for games as a service, and I mean, well, you can clearly see how that's working out for them. I mean, like, I don't, I don't expect Sony to really change their business direction, I guess we can call it, over this. I mean, they realistically should, but I mean, as a wise prophet once said, this industry doesn't tend to learn anything. And even if they do take something to heart, it's usually the wrong things that they take to heart. But I mean, ultimately, I just want my favorite genre to thrive, man. It's like, it's clearly a market for this stuff still. It's like, a Astrobot proves that there's still a market for this stuff. There's still a market for all the weird original ideas and all these franchises that have just been left in the dust to rot. And it's just, I, I don't know. P plus, I mean, look at this little guy. He's so cute and he's so marketable. Like, seriously, it's like, why is, it not, why is he not the face of Sony right now? It's like... Sony's had a whole, like, revolving door of mascots, and it's like, I don't know why, it's like, you need a face. A face helps move units and stuff like that. Really, there's a whole conversation in itself about how Sony has just been going mascot after mascot, and they've never really stuck to someone, which, it's kind of interesting to think about that, honestly, but I digress. But, uh, yeah, this game is fantastic, and if you have a PS5, you owe it to yourself to play this game. It's honestly, watching this game made me wish I had a PS5, which I don't, and quite frankly, I still kind of don't want one, even though it's very, very tempting. But yeah, go buy Astrobot. And if you don't have a PS5 like me, buy Astrobot for someone who does. It didn't stop me. And honestly, while you're here, like, sub, all that good stuff, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you later, and next time I'll have a script.